just walked over here from Albertine Press in my Borns, and we're about to meet Joe Camerata, the new general manager of Ames Street Deli. Well, why we walked over is we got his new t-shirts and he doesn't know about them. So we're gonna surprise him before we start making some Halloween cocktails today. So let's go ahead and get started. Joe, how you doing? Well, nice to see you, man. You how is everything, man? Great, thanks Come for on. coming in. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. So excited to do some Halloween cocktails? Absolutely. Well, I got a surprise for you. I was just over at Albertine Press yeah. and I just picked up the new Aim Street Deli t-shirts, huh? You that before me. Well, you know, I, I, I pulled a few strings. <laughs> so you ready to get uh, started to do some good. things? You look good. Let's go back there. All right, man. Thanks so much for doing this today. Thanks for coming down. All right. Welcome to Born Presents Mixology 101. I'm Troy Clark, your host. Today we are at Back Bar in Somerville, uh, where I'm with the former principal bartender, Joe Camerata. Well, today what we're going to focus on is Halloween cocktails, as you can tell from Joe's apron, uh, kind of spooky with some pumpkins there. So Joe, we're going to focus on some uh, Halloween cocktails Absolutely. today, and uh, you have one that you've created uh, that you'd like to showcase? Yep, this is a, a play on a classic Singapore sling called the Singapore Smokes. Singapore Smokes. So we took some classic elements of a Singapore sling and added some fun ingredients to go along with it. So this would be one of the fun ingredients? This would be one of the fun ingredients. This is the Galliano Ristretto coffee liqueur. Okay. Uh, coffee liqueurs uh, pair really great with pineapple and some other classic tiki drinks. Okay. Building off those herbs, a little bit of Benedictine, a quarter ounce as well. Benedictine. So uh, right now we're adding a couple sweet elements yep. into this cocktail, um, right? And uh, tiki drinks have a kind of a bad reputation of being sweet, but they really balance out with a lot of uh, citrus and acid. Okay. Uh, I have a little bit of grenadine going in as well, a half an ounce. Excellent. Um, and grenadine's made from um, pomegranates, not cherries. So uh, equal parts sugar and palm juice is an easy way to do it at absolutely. home. Absolutely. And okay. then we have a grilled pineapple juice. I just made, um, took some pineapples. Uh, cut them up, put them on the grill till they were charred, then blended them up and strained them out. Excellent. That's a little bit of savory quality. And then a uh, half an ounce of lime juice to kind of balance out those sweet fresh elements. Squeezed lime fresh juice, squeezed lime juice, fresh always. pineapple juice. As we start catching a trend here, we're using a lot of fresh ingredients. Always. Excellent. And, and grilled pineapple goes, and pineapple in general, goes really great with herbs and, and spices. Absolutely. So, uh, can Building see off those herbs and spices, we have a really great dry London dry gin, okay. uh, Sipsmith. Uh, you kind of need a big bowl gin to um, pair with all these sweet and uh, herbal items. And, and, and London Dry is going to give a lot of juniper uh, berry quality. Absolutely. To the cocktail, right? And you just uh, dashed in some uh, bitters? Angostura bitters, yep. Angostura. Salt and pepper of a cocktail. Salt and pepper of, of a cocktail. Excellent. We're going to give it a uh, quick shake. Okay. Notice that Joe is shaking away from his customers or whoever he uh, has in front of him, just in case anything breaks or spills. And uh, you mentioned earlier that tiki drinks get a bad rep for being too sweet sometimes, but they always seem to go over crushed ice. Yes. Um, and why is that? Um, there's a lot of booze in tiki drinks. Okay. So the ice can balance it out really nicely. Um, some problem can be uh, over diluting before it goes over crushed ice. That's why I only shook for a short amount of time. So more of a short shake. Exactly. Okay. I'm adding this to a smoked uh, crystal head. Uh, Oh wow, skull. now that's really cool. Infuse smoke into the cocktail. So you used a smoking gun, um, and you what did you smoke into it? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay, so a little bit more spice going into yep. this cocktail. Um, and how long do you want to you know, put it in there for? Only a few minutes, the smoke really, uh, just think about your clothes next to a campfire, how quickly that, that smell and, and flavor transfers. I'm just pouring it over crushed ice. Okay. And I like to leave the skull out and let the smoke breathe next to the guests. Really cool presentation. The Singapore Singapore Smokes. Smokes. Yes. Uh, this is really cool. Thanks so much for uh, making this for us today, Joe. Thanks for having me. Um, best of luck with the uh, uh, Ames Street Deli. Uh, I'm Troy Clark, your host. Uh, Borns presents Mixology 101. We'll see you next time. Thank you.